All right, this took me forever to figure out. So here's a tutorial if you want to try. Um, this is getting custom spell templates and attaching them. This is specifically Spirit Guardians, and I wanted skulls. So I went and I made this uh, WebM file, which is a uh, bitch and a half on its own to create. So I'm not going to make a tutorial for that. It is a opaque file. It is not transparent. Um, here are the actual modules I'm using. About Face, Select Tool Everywhere, Token Attacher, and Token Magic FX. Um, About Face is not necessary for this. It allows me to uh, have top-down tokens face the direction I want. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because with the way this works, it does not work with the token attached. So there's a little bit of a conflict there between those modules. If you really need about face, um, then you probably don't want token attacher because that's the conflict about face and token attacher. Um, but if you're fine without it, then, then it's cool. Um, so the way that I did that, let's get rid of that and let's go to our friend Kilruck here, cast uh, spirit guardians place measured spell template. It pops up. It's nice and transparent. That's all in the settings. Um, what I'll then have to do is go to basic controls, select the token. And this right here, this is from token attacher. I'm selecting this token. I'm saying, hey, I'm going to attach something to this token. I'm going to go over to measurement controls. This right here, this is not core foundry to select templates. Normally you can't select templates. That's from the select tool everywhere. Uh, module. So I'm going to select that template and I'm going to go to the token attacher uh, UI here and I'm going to say attach selected elements. So now the template is attached to this token. I can go over to the token, move them around, and the template moves. Um, for actually getting my custom texture on, uh, on this template, that's token magic FX. And I'll show you how I did that. Under module settings, I went to token magic effects, template settings, overrides, and I added a new override. I labeled it spirit guardians. Um, you may you may have to do some custom naming so that you don't get you know skulls on spirit guardians if someone else has spirit guardians. Uh, this works for me because in my campaign only one person has spirit guardians, so it's fine. Uh, so under spirit guardians, I chose bloomed texture. Um, Without this texture, I was not able to get it transparent. Um, the inner opacity setting right here only works with a special effect added. Uh, so I chose one that, that worked fairly well for me, and that was bloomed texture. You can see it kind of turning white there. The texture itself is a WebM file uh, that I created. I'll upload that as well if you'd like to use it. Um, and that was it. I added that override and saved it. So every time that uh, Spirit Guardians is cast, this is the template that's going to pop up. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know.